Annie Dickerson here, founder and chief brand officer at Good Egg Investments. And in this video, I wanted to share a bit about why the sub market of Youngtown, which is northwest of Phoenix proper, is such an incredible hidden gem market. Now, before I dive in, I wanted to zoom out for a second first and give a quick refresher of what we look for in a market when it comes to multifamily investments. Now, the biggest factors we look for are three things, job growth, population growth, and job diversity. Why? Because we want a market where businesses are moving to and creating job openings, which will in turn attract more people to move to that area, thus driving up population growth. As it turns out, people like living indoors. So if you give them a reason to move to the area, i.e. job growth, then they're going to say, okay, I'm moving here. Now I need a place to live. Then that's when the multifamily demand goes up. Now, in addition to that, we want to make sure that there's also job diversity. So if one industry or one sector goes kaput, it won't be a crushing blow on the overall economy. Beyond that, we look for a market in which there's a lopsided balance with low supply and a high demand. In other words, there are more people looking for apartments in the area, but just not enough apartments, particularly within certain asset classes, to meet all the demand. And this is what tends to drive up rental rates, which in turn drives up the overall value of those assets. Okay, so with all that context in mind, let's dig into Youngtown, and then we're going to zoom out to Phoenix as a whole. All right, so Youngtown, it's a quiet little residential neighborhood about 30 minutes from downtown Phoenix. Now, back a couple of years ago when we did our one of our Good Egg team retreats in Phoenix, we toured this property and the surrounding area of Youngtown, and we loved the quiet residential community feel. And this neighborhoody feel of Youngtown is completely by design. In fact, Youngtown was the country's very first senior living community, initially developed for residents over the age of 50. When they first developed it, there were smaller homes, there were lots of parks, and there were recreational areas built specifically for an older population. Now, flash forward to the 90s when that age restriction was lifted. From then until now, Youngtown has seen a huge amount of change, with the population shifting from mostly older residents to now mostly younger professionals and families. Youngtown is growing extremely quickly, faster than the vast majority of similarly sized cities, and has more than doubled in size since 2000. As for job growth, Youngtown is predicted to see about 45% job growth over the next 10 years, which is significantly higher than the U.S. average of about 33%. The local business economy is thriving and job diversity is also strong with a lot of the local businesses being health-based. Speaking of which, Banner Boswell Medical Center, which is home to over 2,500 jobs, is just five minutes away. As for the greater Phoenix area, the region is home to over 5 million residents and continues to be on a booming trajectory of growth. Phoenix is currently the 10th largest metro area and is one of the fastest growing cities in the country, ranking number four in year-over-year -year population growth. As for job growth, the city of Phoenix added over 66,000 jobs in the past year alone, maintaining low unemployment rates and attracting a steady stream of new residents. The city's population is projected to grow by around 900,000 new residents over the next decade, and this population influx is expected to drive continued demand for multifamily housing, particularly since new supply has come to a screeching halt. So remember that? Remember when I mentioned the lopsided supply and demand? Well, Phoenix has that. There will only be 269 new units delivered in Phoenix in the next 12 months. This means that there will be a limited, a very limited supply of new multifamily units ahead. However, as we've discussed, the rate of job growth and population growth isn't slowing. So what that means is that as Phoenix continues to grow and more jobs come to the area, that's going to drive up 
the multifamily demand. You know, in some ways, it makes me think of the San Francisco Bay Area, which is where I live. I currently live in a quiet little, I guess you could call it a hidden gem neighborhood. It's called Kensington, which is in the hills just north of Berkeley. Now, without traffic, it takes me about 35 minutes or so to drive into San Francisco, which is roughly about the same distance that Youngtown is from Phoenix. Now, several decades ago, there wasn't much here in Kensington, but as Silicon Valley and the tech boom has brought more and more jobs and people to the Bay Area, towns like Kensington have seen a huge boom as well. Plus, I get to enjoy the quiet residential feel of this little town. I get to have more space for my family, and I get to enjoy beautiful views of the Bay Area, all without having to be crunched up in downtown San Francisco. And that's exactly why people love Youngtown. They can still have access to all the big city amenities, but they can live in a quieter and more residential area. As Phoenix continues to grow, Youngtown is perfectly poised to grow right alongside it. And we'll be able to ride that wave through this investment in North Edge. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our Phoenix Market Spotlight article to dig further into insights about the huge growth and potential ahead. And if this investment piques your interest and might be right for your investment goals, we invite you to ride the wave with us.